Whether you're someone who loves purchasing from your favorite chocolate store or you love buying um, flowers for that special someone from your particular store, I'm going to be running through or letting you know how these different companies categorize the customers. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're just stopping by, welcome, welcome, welcome guys. I'm so excited to have you in here. In this video, as seen in the title, I'll be walking you through an advanced but yet very important analytical project that cuts across all industries and that is RFM. And guys, I'm so sorry, I know I haven't come up with a tutorial um, in a long while and I've received a lot of um, your messages on IG, even like um, on my comments about how that you love some of my projects, right? I am so sorry that I haven't come up with a recent one. So today I thought to start one and this one would bother around using cloud services, right? For your analytical project. I'm going to be sharing about some cloud services and why they're actually important as a data analyst, right? So I know that I speak a lot about how learning SQL, Excel, also even having like some knowledge of Python as well as some analytical tools are important. In as much as that's also important, I just thought to come up here and also share with you like some really important cloud services that you have an idea of, right? So basically have three major cloud services out there who play in this space and that's AWS, Google as well as Microsoft, right? So that's Microsoft Azure. Even if you're still a newbie, but I feel you should also like add up on top of this um, technology stack you do have to have a basic knowledge of cloud services. Also let you in as to how we can actually apply this or use these cloud services for whatever projects we're working with, right? Because we're going to then go on and then work on some really nice and cool data analytic project, guys. And I'm so excited about this. And this is literally like a step up in terms of like the previous uh, projects we worked on as in this video working on RFM, which is recency, frequency, and monitoring, right? This video would highlight to you how your purchases, how frequently you shop, as well as how often you actually even shop in a particular store. So, so excited to have you here and let's go. So for this project, we're going to be working on a practice data set from data.gov, I believe. I'm going to put a link to different websites you can actually get free data sets. So I know in my previous video, we literally had to like scrape data from the web, right? But in this case, we're going to actually get data from a repository or a reservoir of different data sets. So in this case, it means that you don't have to scrape data from the web. And I mean, which company will actually like allow you to use their customer data sets, right? It's no company pretty much because of personal information, which are quite private to customers. So it just makes sense for, for us to have like a dummy customer data set in any of those websites to just get, right? I loaded this data into an Excel sheet and saved it at CSV because I wanted to store this data in um, I'm using Amazon S3, right? So I'm going to show you how I was able to bring it in to AWS S3. I also have S3 connected to Athena results to query. So let's see how that goes, guys. And this is a very beginner friendly project. So whenever you have to look for a job or whatsoever, and someone asks, oh, oh, are you familiar with AWS services? At the very least, you have an idea of how different analytical tools such as S3, Athena, and later on, I'll be talking about QuickSight. How they all work right so guys i'm excited and let's go ahead and work on this project together so first off you want to check for s3 which is also known as amazon simple storage service right and it's a fully managed object-based storage service it's literally highly highly durable and very cost effective right and it's used for storing large files like videos images static websites even backup archives as well too right then next off, you need to create a bucket, right? So just think of a bucket as a container for your data pretty much, right? To store objects. So you need to create an, a bucket for you to be able to store different type of data. So next off, you would need to um, create a bucket name and your bucket name has to be completely unique, right? And it's not just within the region specified, but globally against all other S3 buckets that exist right so once you've created your bucket you can then begin to upload your data within it and by default your accounts literally have up to a hundred buckets so once that is done you would see a success message saying that you've now created a bucket right and this bucket would now be listed in your already existing buckets and in this case the name of my new bucket is called rfm data world right and that is that in there then after that you can go on and then upload your data right and at this point you can then decide to 
plug in any data from your system or from wherever and connect it in this case because i already have the data already downloaded i uploaded it from my system that's my local computer and that's in a csv format putting it as a file and then also imputing it in the already existing buckets i just created right now so when that's done you will see a success message that um your file has been successfully uploaded i can just literally view details of the file that you just uploaded and this is currently um in your s3 bucket So thank you guys so much for watching. I think now you have an idea of, of how the different um, service, we are able to see how we're able to store and excel data in the form of CSV in S3, right? In AWS S3. So thank you so much guys for watching. If you really enjoyed this video, please ensure to like. Your likes actually like mean a lot to me. And if you think this is also a project that you're also interested in, and sure to work on this project and please share with me i'm literally always reviewing every one person's project that that is been sent to me right so if this is something that um, you really learned one or two things to also drop a comment right i am so excited as well too because i would love to see the comments i truly engage every one person's comment so i see how most of you all are actually working on this project and also like looking to pivot into data analytics right so have a great day guys and yes and sure to like, subscribe, as well as share to those in your network as well too, right? And let them learn one or two things that was being taught in here. So have a great day, guys. Bye.